I think ITUD makes an extraordinary contribution to development. Um, it, it pulls together the uh, expertise of the members, which include administrations um, and, and uh, you know, huge companies that are doing things all over the world. I think it, it combines those resources and puts them at the disposal of uh, its members and beyond. Uh, we all know that ICTs are um, a, an enabler of all kinds of economic development. It um, enables, of course, um, governmental services, education, health, and um, I would say most of the industry people who are contributing to this um, this dynamic environment are members of the ITU. And as I said, we come together, we share knowledge, uh, people put projects together, and all of these things contribute to socioeconomic development. We're in the sector that I think is a, is, is a very strong engine for all of those, all of those things. I think that uh, digital literacy is a is an important thing for everyone. I mean, I think that some of the young people are the most digitally literate that that we have. Um, I take your point about innovation. I think that as we um, look to um, improve the things that we are doing as member states and as sector members, um, and we. Uh, use the tools that they use through social media, that we use Twitter and we um, um, communicate them in the ways that they can, uh, that, that they are uh, communicating with each other. Um, I think that even just in giving them the information um, can inspire them to, to uh, become full digital citizens. I think we have to speak their language and in using some of those tools and in, in translating the things that we're doing, um, I think can help them to, um, you know, continue to take, take the mantle on. And we know that the ITU does all kinds of things with youth. You know, we've seen the things with the girls in ICTs and um, we uh, have all of those different kinds of programs. And I'd like to see them to, to do more, but uh, I think that um, kids now, at least in the United States, don't listen to the radio anymore. They get all of their music digitally. They're sharing um, all of, the, they listen to the radio via the internet. And so I think we have to use all of those tools because that's where they are. They're not reading print. They're not um, tuning the, the, the regular radios. They're, they're, you know, they're all on, on media. And so um, the ITU has to be there. I see ITU as a, an in, in the future as an important multilateral organization. I see it as one um, that is going to underpin the ways that decisions are going to be made in the future, that is global decisions with everyone coming to the table and sharing their various views. Uh, you know, this is, decisions in the world I think are not going to be able to be made in isolation. Um, it's, a, it's an organization where everyone has a voice, all of the, st all of the, st uh, all of the countries as well as sector members. We're also thinking about um, where it's appropriate to have um, some of the voices from academia and other places to enrich the discussions that we have here. But um, in, the f in the future, now and in the future, people have to communicate with each other and they have to um, there has to be a place where that occurs. There has, there has to be somewhere where that's facilitated. And um, that's never going to be something that won't be needed. So I see the ITU as, as continuing to play that role, to give uh, a voice to members, and hopefully to um, collectively, you know, together we can have a very important and positive and constructive impact on the world.